Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Notions One, and my name is Ben. This is a review on my R9280X graphics card. It is an MSI Dual Fan Frozer with 3 gig of RAM and the clock speed is default is 10-20 MHz on the core and 1500 MHz on the memory. The, this, these cars are voltage locked so if you want to overclock them beyond say 10-50 that's about the limit without up in the voltage with if you're mining light coins if you're not mining light coins and you're gaming then you can probably up it a lot more without needing to increase the voltage but to increase the voltage you need to flash the BIOS and this involves using a USB stick and making it bootable with a DOS bootable USB stick and putting ATI flash on it the EXE and uh, also the ROM file which is the BIOS that you want to flash to your card to make it so that the voltage is changing the voltage is unlocked before flashing the BIOS flip the, the switch on the top of the card so you can recover it if it goes wrong and also get a tower power tech power up GPU-Z GPU-Z is the program get that and save the current BIOS using it just hover over where the BIOS it says what the BIOS is and click save BIOS do that you don't, if you don't want to brick the graphics card it's, it's the safest way and easiest way to get the, the graphic the, to flash the, graph, the ROM file back to the graphics card the BIOS file BIOS ROM file anyway I'm finding this is a very good card does quite good in mining. I'm getting uh, 730 plus kilohash a second, about 732, which is not bad at all. And the power, it only uses 250 watts, which isn't that much, and it's perfectly adequate for mining, and it doesn't use too much power. Also, the card itself is pretty much identical to the Ra Radeon HD7970 uh, which also had the Tahiti core this has got the Tahiti core as well and it's a good core fast before that it was a Pitcairn core on the 7870 and things like that uh, the 7970 and the R280X have the Tahiti core and the 270X I think has a Pitcairn core anyway the 280X the MSI version of it I'll show you it uh, this, and it, this will, will show you how quiet the card is at 91% 91% this fan the fans are set to short fans the card there that says MSI on the side that is it, and it takes a it takes a six plus two and the, and a six pin uh, PCIe con connector. So that to review that it takes a six pin and it takes a six plus two connector to the card, and that's it really good card does the job you can get it for around 260 pounds in the UK in the USA it'll be a lot cheaper than that because electrical goods are always a lot cheaper in the USA you're like really lucky over there and I'll just say really quiet considering how how much voltage and what what the card is actually doing 
it's at a hundred percent, ninety nine percent to be precise load, which is very high, obviously, and it is running really cool. I'll show you how cool it is actually running. I'm I'm sitting here, so I'm blocking a lot of the temperature. It is at can't see that very well. Seventy six degrees. When I'm not at this computer, this this card runs at seventy or seventy one degrees, which is very, totally adequate. It can actually run up to about a hundred Celsius, centigrade Celsius. But I'll, I'm not. I wouldn't risk it that far. I've had a card before though, but it was at ninety seven degrees before I spotted it. I didn't set change the fan speed in MSI afterburner when I thought I had. I went for a cigarette and came back and it was at 97 degrees. Really lucky to spot that. Or else it could have been a fryer. Or it should have, it should have, uh, what's the word, thermal, the thermal shutdown should have kicked in and it should have stopped. Anyway, I'll end this video because it's getting a bit long now. And overall I'm very pleased with this card. It is pretty much identical to the 7970, so I'm not going into the specifications too much other than it's got 3 gig of RAM on board. And I said the frequencies of the GPU engine and the memory clock. And basically, yeah, I'm happy with it. Anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please press like. And if you want to see more videos, please press subscribe. And that's it. If you have any comments to make on this video, please write in the box below. And if you have any questions, please just ask. I'll, I'll do my best to help you. And thanks very much for watching this video. And I hope you have a nice day. Bye.